Hi guys, I'm Zale, and we are almost halfway into November, which means some of the best, but also most stressful holidays are coming. So let my colorful cast of characters talk about some of these instances with their segments. Horoscopes from Miss Geo. Well, hello there. I'm Miss Geo, Diva of the Stars, and today I'm telling the horoscope for Aries, or as I like to call them, weird goat bitches. Oh, Mars is speaking to me. It's telling me that Aries will have to watch out for danger. Oh Lord, this is not good. The danger is from someone very close to you, like a sibling or a uh, or ninja. You'll have to be wary of ninjas. That's a running problem for Aries, as you guys know. But don't worry, Plato chimed in and said that your love life will be very fruitful this month. So keep on the lookout for that as well. Unless it's a ninja trying to romance you, I'm afraid you're freaking screwed then. Beautiful places with Sobe. Um, guys, this, this place isn't that pretty. I, I thought I'd be going to like a beach or something, you know, N not an old building. So, um, yeah, this, this place is very pretty and uh, I'm gonna kill you kind of way. Probably would have been better to come here during the day. Don't worry, we, uh, we've been hearing things and uh, you know, we just had to be here at night. Uh, yeah, good fun. What, wait, what do you mean there's something behind me? Food tip from Ed's bro. Alright bros, Thanksgiving's coming up, so that means huge dinners. But don't get too comfortable, bros. Some dinners are like battlegrounds. Some families have all these stupid relatives around, you can't always get seconds. So this is what I recommend. Get some containers for food and hide them out of sight under the table, and then get your first little thing of food. After that, say there's a bunch of deer outside and let the stupid idiots run to the windows. While that is happening, start filling the containers with food, as much as you can. And if your family comes back and asks what happened to the food, say Jesus did it, and that's what they should be grateful for. Nobody ever has the balls to question Jesus. Life Advice from Stefan if your family asks you why you've gained so much weight since last Thanksgiving, tell them a diet and some running can fix that and many problems. But can that fix the amount of ugly they've had all their lives? I don't think so. Dark poetry with Sunny. The family has gathered. They sit at the table. Siblings being annoying. Mom looking unstable. Plates are set. The potatoes look murky. Get ready for a fun night. I've poisoned the turkey. This is Garrett, and these are things that piss me off. You wanna know what I hate about the holidays? Idle small talk with family you barely see. Some be like, well, look at you still plugging away at the cashier job. Don't want more out of life? Well, Aunt Kelly, still wait for your boyfriend to get out of prison? Don't you want more of a stable relationship? And then there's always the family members that go there and eat the food but do nothing to clean up. Well, didn't spend all morning and afternoon cooking so you could sit on your ass, Grandpa. Get up and wash the dish. And then things really heat up when the talk of politics starts arising at the table and your cousin around your age starts going on about the current state of the country. It's like, I think I would take your argument seriously if you didn't get all your politics from Facebook posts, you dense bitch. Politics with Pat. This week was the election week in the US for the midterm seats in Congress. A very important day for our dear country. And here on his take on it is President Trump himself. Thank you so much, little Asian girl. It's good to be here. Good to be on TV. I love TV. Alright, first off, I'm a man. No, no. Don't get your panties in a twist, you should be lucky I agree to speak with you. Ugh, fine, whatever. So tell us, what are your thoughts on the midterm elections? The mid what? The midterm elections for the seat in Congress. The seats in what? President Trump, do you know what went on this week? Of course I did, lady. I'm not stupid. I am the president. That is spelled P-R-E-Z-E-N-T. Show me a little more respect. Then tell us your thoughts on the election. Already won the election, you hippie liberals. You need to put your tears with Hillary's emails and look at Trump Tower with a smile on your face and a little pee in your pants. That's what I do every Sunday. That's it. I'm out. I can't do this. I should have just done dark poems with Sunny. Little Asian girl, calm your small boobies down and listen to me discuss why I think we should be hunting Bernie Sanders with a bag of raccoons. Laquisha's advice for keeping it real. What's up, babies? Laquisha here with some keeping it real for your soul. 
Thanksgiving is around the corner, and a lot of you go to somebody else's house for it, which is nice and good, but make sure y'all bring something with you, or better yet, help prepare one of the sides for the meal at your home and bring it there. That's right, babies. Give your host or hostess a little relief, or make a dessert for the after course, or if you're old enough, bring a bottle of wine. Wine's always a good gift. Nothing too fancy, baby. Just something to show you loved one's appreciation. And if you can't do any of that, that's okay, baby. Just help clean up. Don't be a selfish bitch and do nothing. Nobody likes a selfish bitch who does nothing. Because I'll be watching. And if I see any of y'all not doing anything to show your appreciation, I'll wait outside your cars with a tire iron and bust your kneecaps open and then take pictures and post them on the Instagram. And don't think I won't. Laquisha always keeps her word. Beauty tips from Maria. Hey there, ugly dugongs. Your beauty guru Maria is about to give you donkey some beauty tips. Beauty tip number one, get someone super rich to pay for all your beauty needs. Some of you uggos might have to settle for some older guys, but hey, that's okay, as long as you get stuff out of that. Beauty tip number two, spill something dark on a bitch's dress if that dress is better than yours, so that your dress will be the best. Beauty tip number three, go to bed really angry so that you won't get much sleep and therefore your hair will have a less chance of getting bad hat. Beauty tip number four, if your breath really sucks and you don't have time to brush your teeth, Switch some bleach in your mouth, and it'll kill all the germs that are making your breath smell like that! Beauty tip number five! If you don't have time to do your beauty routine in the morning, just put a paper bag over your hat. It'll be a huge improvement, no matter what your normal routine is anyway. This is Allison with Cute Things. You guys want to know what's really cute? Turkeys! Right before you soulless asshats slaughter them for your traditional feast, you murderers! Shame! Shame on you all! SHAME! Zael reads viewer questions. Well, it's time for viewer questions. Since I didn't actually ask anyone for questions, the cast went ahead and wrote some for us. So, first question is from Maria. She asked, Why have I yet to have a music video? I'm talented and pretty. You are just ugly and jelly. Well, there's a simple answer there, Maria. It's because you're loud and terrible and sound like a mixture of Lumpy Space Princess and Roger the Alien, and nobody wants to hear that singing. Next question is from Ed, and he asks, Why does your normal voice sound like you're trying to jam in six sausages into your mouth at once? Alright guys, when I said ask questions, I meant like about the episodes or the content. This is more like a freaking roast. Next question is from Miss Geo. Oh boy, this ought to be good. She asks, Zale, watch out. Neptune said you're gonna get rabies from a bagel in 16 months. Alright, yeah, that's not a question, but thanks for the heads up, I guess. Uh, okay, we have another one from Miss Geo. It says, Scratch that last part. Jupiter was the one speaking to me, and Jupiter is a lying bitch. Well, that's my breaking point. No more questions. You guys have ruined it. Anyways, everyone, have a great rest of your November. And be sure to stay tuned in for more minisodes and Maria screaming for no reason. And be sure to look for my new song in the channel based off Taylor Swift's Look What You Made Me Do being released very soon. No, 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 no. We are not doing that. Oh, yes, you are. It's gonna be great. Huh? It's gonna be legendary!